Do you remember what it was like to draw pictures as a child? Think back to all those years ago when you'd plonk yourself down on the carpet with a sheet of paper, a box of crayons and a wild imagination. Remember how much fun that was? We would just draw whatever was in our heads, stick it on the fridge and get on with the next one. Then one day we just stopped. We got old, became boring grown-ups doing boring grown-up things like going to work in a soul-destroying office, moaning about the weather and watching mind-numbing television until we fall asleep with a massive glass of wine in our hands. We're adults now, this is what adults do. It was no longer deemed appropriate to spend our time drawing pictures for fun. Why would we? Drawing is just an activity you give to the kids when you want them out of the way. I guess that's the way I always thought about art. Art wasn't something I did because I never believed I was any good at it. I think this feeling of not being good enough all harks back to one particular incident in primary school. It was Christmas time, I was about nine years old, and we had been tasked with making a festive themed stained glass window out of coloured tissue paper. I had decided that my window would feature a star. It seemed a good enough idea to me, the star of Bethlehem and all that business. I mean, what's more festive than that? I actually thought it turned out quite well, but as I finished, up walks the teacher and announces to the class that this is an example of what not to do. Apparently just doing a star was typical of me always taking the lazy option. I mean, even at the time I thought that was an odd thing for a teacher to say. Aren't teachers supposed to be encouraging? Are teachers meant to take great pleasure in humiliating a child in front of their whole class and embedding into them a lifelong belief that they're useless at art? That I shouldn't even try to be creative? That I'm wasting my time? I don't imagine I dwelled on it at the time, but it must have lodged in the back of my mind, because from then on, art was never a part of my life. And then the pandemic happened. Seeing my need for something to do while we were all trapped indoors, my dad bought me a little beginner's art set. At first I was thinking, art? I don't do art. I tried one landscape painting in acrylic, which was okay, but honestly I had no idea what I was doing and the art set went in a drawer unlikely to be ever opened again. And then I discovered urban sketching. One day I was scrolling through the TV channels and I happened to come across an art contest called Landscape Artist of the Year. They were filming up in Scotland, which is where I'm from, as I'm sure you can tell from my accent, so I gave it a wee watch. There was an artist on it called Brian Ramsey, and he was drawing a scribbly sketch with a pen and then splashing some watercolour on it. It looked brilliant, I'd never really seen anything like it before, and there's a link in the description if you'd like to see it for yourself. For the first time I saw a piece of art and thought, ooh, that looks like fun. It was one of those light bulb moments. Wait, people actually do that? Actual grown-ups draw like that? Whoa. It was like that moment in Home Alone when Kevin McAllister goes, I made my family disappear. I didn't even know at the time that this was called urban sketching. He didn't re specifically refer to it as that, and so I started Googling ink and watercolour drawing. Eventually I would come to learn that this was called urban sketching, but before I even knew what it was, I plucked up the courage to pick up a pen and start drawing. This was my first sketch, the shop front of a bookshop in Edinburgh, done in ink and watercolour. Nothing special, but actually I was really proud of it. It didn't even matter whether it was a masterpiece or something I would stick on the fridge. My fridge door isn't magnetic anyway, so it would have just fallen off. But leaving that aside, I really enjoyed the process of just sitting down and drawing. It sparked something in me. It kicked off a new obsession. It felt like being a kid again, only now I'm old enough to know not to let the negativity of others stop me from doing something I love. I sketch because it brings me joy. I sketch because it's relaxing. I sketch because it takes me back to being a kid again and I'm drawing with freedom and joy and there's happy thoughts in my head and tomorrow's not a school day and I'm wondering what's for dinner. I really hope it's curly fries. I love curly fries. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future Urban Sketchy videos. 
and you can find my sketches and other sketchy goodness at urbansketchy.com.